Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-16 of Viper. Today we are flying under Pakistani colors uh, here today. And we are fighting the Indian MiG-21 Bison, which is easily the most modernized version of the MiG-21 that exists anywhere in the world today. Modernized with Russian R-77-1s. Now, from my understanding, the MiG-21 has a whole host of upgrades, the Bison variant. Uh, they get, you know, the cockpit's completely redone. There's an MFD in there, which is very strange for a MiG-21, but it's there. Uh, the Obviously, the upgraded weapon systems, you have a helmet-mounted sight. Uh, like we talked about, we have the R-77-1. We have the Archer, the R-73 or AA-11 Archer, high off sight FOX-2 capability for a MiG-21, which again is pretty strange, but it's there. Uh, that's how modernized that MiG-21 is. Better radar, better jamming, data link. So, very, very interesting upgrades for the MiG-21. Now, from my understanding, the Indian Air Force is actually retiring these MiG-21s. They are leaving service, uh, but I believe they're still active to this day. And uh, it's just a testament to how, uh, how you can take even an old airframe and modernize it. Uh, give it new engines, new avionics, that kind of stuff. Uh, new weapon systems and really bring the aircraft up to at least the somewhat modern standard enough to you know meet the needs of your air force even like 50 60 years later <laughs> than the aircraft was built originally right now india and pakistan of course had a little bit of a run-in uh, back in february of 2019 where confirmed at least one mig-21 bison was shot down uh, pakistan also claims to have shot down a indian sukhoi 30 uh, that is unconfirmed, and India also claims to have shot down a Pakistani F-16, which remains unconfirmed. The only thing that's really confirmed right now is the MiG-21 Bison shootdown, and also the loss of one Indian Mi-17 helicopter, which was shot down due to friendly fire. So, you know, do with that information what you want. I don't want to get uh, too into the weeds with that whole incident there. As we know, it's kind of a spicy topic on both sides. As a general rule of thumb, I don't believe anything that is said unless you can show me pictures or video evidence of the shoot down. Um, and as far as I know, the only evidence that's been shown is a MiG-21 that was crashed. Uh, we have him here on radar right off the nose. He's about 26 miles out now. And I got him on radar. And he, I think he sees me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in range we are Mach 1.1 here so good launch parameters as we close in at 20 miles now and there's the shoot cue he's launched on me fox 3 we're defending Now he's also got the S300, S400 systems, and I've got the Chinese uh, S300 variant, which is what I believe Pakistan is using. Uh, no helmet mounted sight, because as far as I know, Pakistan doesn't have that. Um, and we're putting the bandit on the uh, gimbal limit and cranking. And we're off cold. And that's it, we're out of here. Go cold, defend a little bit. That is a Russian R-77-1, which is a modernized export variant of the R-77. Go ahead and turn around. Not to be confused with the R-77M, which is, you know, much longer range, much more dangerous missile.
It seems that I'm going to have to be careful about his S300 sights. Uh, I imagine the further we get pushed in that direction, the more likely that the S300 is going to try to cover him, so we do have to worry about that. Maybe even more dangerous than the MiG-21, honestly. Keep in mind, if you want to pick up the F-16, the code, the discount code is coming to an end. GSF-16 for 10% off. Uh, at the end of this month, that'll be over. So if you want to pick up the F-16 with that discount, now would be your opportunity. Uh, we are 20 miles and climbing. I have him locked on radar. He is now locking me. At 19 miles, we're continuing to climb. No data link here, by the way. Only the F-16's radar doing all the work. And he's got a Fox 3 out. Uh, Fox 3 for me. And we're out. Okay, and we're reducing altitude here. His S-300 site is also locking me. I got a little too high there, and getting high like that allowed his S-300 to open up on me. Um, so you can see the introduction of the air defense systems, the S-300 systems, S-400 systems. It kind of decreases the altitude at which engagements can happen, um, which can also force aircraft to get closer together because the, the Mars are reduced. You can't go super high and sling missiles from a, a far distance. Uh, therefore, you know, you end up getting closer together, which actually increases the probability of a merge. So that happens. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and defend here a little bit more. That missile has probably been defeated. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just dragging it a little bit to be safe. And we're going to go ahead and recommit. See if we can get that MiG-21 on radar. Alright, there was a missile in front of me, but it's gone now. So that's fine. I also have this MiG-21 off the nose, but I'm unable to lock him for now. Give me a second here. He might be cold or climbing. Uh, oh, he just shot at me? Okay. Alright, he just shot at me. And I don't have him on radar. Oh, there he is. I got him. He's right here. He's right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Locked at 9 miles. Fox 3. And I'm defending. that's super dangerous if I didn't get that missile off at nine miles there's a high possibility that he was gonna push me and if he pushed me he's probably got one more Fox 3 left and he's gonna kill me and how do I know how many missiles he has I don't technically you wouldn't in real life so I'm just gonna assume that he has four Fox 3s and if we get to the merge if that's where we end up then I'm gonna assume he has archers and I'm gonna defend like that It is kind of cool to see the MiG-21 uh, kind of putting up a fight here in a modern environment against an F-16. You know, I'm at, like I'm used to thinking of MiG-21s as like these aircraft from the 50s that are not very capable at all. Where in this environment I would kill it without even a second thought, you know. And here it is now surviving three leaps of an engagement uh, with an F-16 in a modern combat environment. So you do have to admit the MiG-21 Bison is actually kind of an interesting aircraft. And, you know, I can speak for myself and say that I'm impressed. Okay, go ahead and drop tanks. Okay, uh, gonna go ahead and recommit here. I have one AMRAM remaining. Got him locked. At 14 miles, I gotta make this one count. Oh, he shot at me. Fox 3. The nice thing here is that he also has to assume worst case scenario with me, which means he has to assume that I have six Fox 3s instead of just four, which I have. I actually have two sidewinders there. 
as you saw. But yeah, it's all about imagining worst case scenario and you defend as if it's worst case. Like I said, I'm assuming that he has uh, four Fox 3s because he has uh, four pylons for air-to-air -air missiles. And then once we merge, even though it's impossible, I'm going to then assume he has four archers. <laughs> I'm going to defend as if it's four archers, right? Unless I get a nice look at his aircraft or something and I visually see with my eyeballs that he doesn't have any more missiles, I'm going to treat him as if he does. Okay, I'm, uh, I believe recommitting here. I can actually see him. I know it's very hard for you guys to see him on YouTube, but I can see him uh, visually. He's off the nose right here on the radar. Got him. Look at that, 15 miles. 14 miles. I'm out of Fox 3s, so I'm gonna try to go to the merge, and he's locking me. And, uh, oh, he shot at me. Okay, so he had a Fox 3. <laughs> he still had another R77-1 available to him, which he just shot at me. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and defend at 9 miles now. Survive that missile. And then once we survive, the roll confuses the missile. I'm just joking, it doesn't. Um, it survived this missile. And then we'll turn back around and recommit, because it looks like I survived. The missile's gone. Actually, it lost track right, right when I did the roll, so... <laughs> maybe the roll does work. <laughs> Next time you're defending a missile, just randomly do an aileron roll and report back to me. <laughs> If we just discovered some sort of new defensive maneuver. <laughs> Alright, everything's actually pretty clear. Um, he's not locking me. S300, his is not looking at me. Uh, never mind. He is looking at me. He's looking for me. Where is he? Oh, that's an S300 launch. No problem, we'll defend that. myself behind this mountain. We'll hide back here from the S-300s and wait for him. Because I saw him. I think he's coming over here. So He wants to go to the merge. Which I'm okay with. Here he is. Either he's coming to the merge or he's disoriented and doesn't know where he is. Or he's dragging me in for his missiles. Got him locked right there. Look at that. I got tone. He, I don't think he sees me. Okay, I'm going to have to kill him quickly. His S300 is trying to lock me up again. Tone, Fox 2. That missile's tracking. He's dropping flares. Missile missed. Oof. No worries. I got one more Fox 2 for you, bud. Lock. Tone. Fox 2. Hold this for me, my dude. It's tracking. Got him. Splash 1, make 21 bison. Oof. That's it. I'm getting out of here. I got nothing left. Sidewinder's gone. Amram's gone. S300 locking me. One MiG-21 Bison shot down here. He put up a great fight. A very, very surprising fight for a MiG-21 to have survived this long. He might have even actually won if he actually if he had an archer and he successfully made it to the merge. He might have actually won. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to use the F-16 code if you want the F-16. It's almost done. Alright, bye guys.